Hello and welcome to a new small PlayFab tutorial series. I planned to do four parts in which I want to show you how the players can register or log in inside the engine and then how they can store some data on PlayFab and get it again in the engine. So first of all, open up the Epic Games Launcher and then go to the marketplace and search for PlayFab and here install it to your preferred engine version. After it's done installing, go to your project and then to your plugins folder and here search for PlayFab and just enable the plugin and restart the project. So let's move over to the World Wide Web to playfab.com and create an account or sign in. So once you're signed in, you should see this page and by default there's a My Game created. If not, you can just create a new title or a new studio. So let's just open that and go here to Automations and then to Revisions. So here's a lot of code, but it's actually not necessary. It should just help you to getting started with some PlayFib functions. Uh, you can keep it or delete it or uh, back up it to your notes or so. But to make it simple, I will just delete everything here and just paste an own function here. You'll find the, you can copy it from the video description. Um, yeah, this function should give you just two examples for uh, updating a variable. Let me just hear the example for jumps and shots. And yes, that's actually for now everything here in PlayFab. We just need to save this as revision and click here on deploy this revision after save. That's really important. And we can just save it. Okay, now we can move back to our project. I've prepared already a simple widget to handle our PlayFab functions, but I won't show you how to set up the UI because that's not what the tutorial is about. So I will just give you a quick overview of what I did here. That's just a widget switcher that contains two children. The first one is a box with some editable text boxes and a button to register. And the second one is the same for logging in, but these elements don't have any logic yet. So yeah, we're creating that later. And the second one is if the player is in the account, logged in, and then the player can set a variable on PlayFab. I will just do it for this tutorial to a random value. And then uh, it will just print out uh, that it was successful set. And uh, the second one is a get button to read the same value and just print out uh, its value here. So then uh, to display this widget when we start playing, I made first a new game mode and then a new HUD class. And I'll show you this HUD class too. Uh, this HUD class is creating exactly this widget and reference it to a variable and then adding this to the viewport. And then finally, it also uh, shows the mouse cursor so we can do something on the widget. So if we now play, it looks like this, but nothing is working. So we are start working now on the, on its logic. Um, so now we need a uh, game instance. Um, if you don't have a game instance in your project yet, you can create a new one. For that, right click here in a content browser, click on Blueprint class and search for game instance. Take this one. And then we just name it my game instance. So now to, to uh, let it work, we need to go to our project settings and just search here for game instance. 
uh, here the first one and here where it says game instance just change it to the game instance we just created so now we can go back and open this game instance here we can create a new variable i will call it ui ref and i will set it to the same class as this widget here with a log in screen and so and that's helpful because we're getting access to this uh, widget and can execute some functions in that later like this but at the moment this variable has no value because it won't be set anywhere um, but we can do it so just drag it in and set it and now let's just create a new custom event i will call it setup connect it here and also connect this pin with the custom event and it should automatically create this new input pin and but now we need to run this event and we can create it we can do it after the widget here is created so for example inside the widget we can go to the graph and an event construct we can cast now to the to our game instance make sure you're not casting to the default game instance so cast to the game instance you have created for object we can just get the game instance here and now also in this game instance also in this uh, widget here it would be good to have a direct access to our game instance instead of casting all the time here to the game instance like this so we can just promote this also to a variable like this and now from here we can call this setup event and for this value we can just take self now so actually this switch it here so now let's just go back to the game instance and inside here we have now successfully set up our uh, UI ref um, but now we want to set up actually some playfab settings and now we are searching here for the first playfab node we're using the first playfab node so search for set playfab settings connecting it here uh, for the production URL we're taking dot playfab api dot com and for the game title ID go back to your browser and go here on the playfab logo and here where your game is you will see the ID and coincidentally I got a really cool ID 15151 so double click on that and copy that Control C and now back in your project just paste it here like this I just compile and save everything um, so that should it be for this tutorial uh, we've set up Playfab and next tutorial I will show you then how to use this register and login and see you then